Hey everyone, today we're gonna make some chicken cordon bleu. Now that's my best French accent that I got, so I'm gonna show you a quick tip on how to get the most crispy crust on it that you can. And the flavors are really delicious. So, you know, it's easy to make and I think you're gonna love it. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef jug. What is a fruit's favorite motivational quote? Seeds of the day. So to start our recipe, we're gonna need some boneless, skinless chicken breast. And I'm using some gluten-free flour here. This is Bob's Red Mill baking one-to-one -one flour. Feel free to use regular flour if you like. Then we'll be adding to that some Italian breadcrumbs by Aaliyah. These are gluten-free as well. But certainly feel free to use any kind you want. We'll also need some ham, so I'm using Black Forest uncured ham here. Now to make this recipe, we're going to take our chicken breasts and we're gonna butterfly them because we want them as thin as we can get them, about a quarter of an inch thick. So even though I'm gonna butterfly this, I'm still gonna need to pound it out a little bit. I like to take a piece of plastic wrap, place it over the chicken and pound it out just like you would the like button if you're enjoying this video. And get the chicken as evenly flat as you can. And we're gonna season up our chicken here. We're gonna give it a little bit of uh, salt and garlic powder. For those of you that don't know, chicken cordon bleu is chicken breast stuffed with ham and Swiss cheese. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're going to uh, take our ham slice and then I'm going to fill it with the cheese and I'm gonna roll it up like a burrito. And then I'm going to place it in the chicken breast and roll that up. Try your best to fold in the sides of the ham so that the cheese, when it melts, doesn't come out. So here I'm gonna set my little ham packet full of cheese right on the chicken breast at one end and I'm gonna roll it up nice and tight. Now I don't think you need to add any toothpicks to hold it, but if it makes you feel better, you can certainly add one. It must be time for chef joke number two. All right, what is a turnip's favorite soda? <laughs> Root beer. Now let's create our dredging station. So I've got my Aaliyah breadcrumbs here. I'm gonna place them in a flat kind of bowl, not too deep, so I can, you know, work in it. And I'm gonna add a little bit of flour, just maybe a tablespoon or so, and mix those two together until they're nicely combined. So this coating is gonna add just a wonderful crunch to our chicken cordon bleu, let me tell you. And we'll need another dish for our egg wash. So I'll just crack an egg and place it in our bowl here. And then I'm gonna mix that up and then I'm gonna add just a little bit of milk, maybe a couple of teaspoons. And this will make it a little more creamy and it'll thin it out just a little bit and make it easier to coat the chicken. Now grab a piece of chicken and place it into the egg wash and just rotate it around, making sure it stays closed and it's fully covered. So then we'll place that into the crumbs and give that a nice coating. It helps to use a spoon, I think, to kind of scoop it up and cover it up. Then go ahead and pick up the piece and so you can rotate it around and make sure that you get it coated on all sides. And shake off any excess crumbs that are not sticking. Once we get all of the chicken coated and placed on our baking sheet, which is also lined with parchment paper, that makes for easy cleanup, so you're gonna wanna do that. You're gonna wanna make sure that your oven is preheated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, before we pop this in the oven, we have one more very important step. Well, actually, we have two steps. The first one is we're going to season these again, just a little bit, just a little hint of salt and garlic powder. Now here's what's really important. We're gonna be adding some grass-fed butter here very lightly, all right? So you're gonna shave off a very thin strip like I did there and just place it right on top of the chicken, all right? You wanna get it as thin as you can because we don't want gobs of it. We just want enough to coat it, give it flavor, and it's gonna help the crust to brown up and get crispy, which is what we all like, right? 
in the oven these go and they are going to cook at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for probably no more than 25 minutes. The thing you want to avoid is overcooking these because chicken breasts can really dry out. You can see here, even though I wrapped the ham around the cheese, it still managed to leak out, but it's not that big of a deal. But do your best. The chicken is cooked perfectly. You want it to have it just done, but not overdone. And it's nice and juicy. And I'll tell you, the crust really makes it. It is delicious and crispy and buttery. You're going to love it. Here's another recipe for you to try. It's my delicious eggplant recipe that is baked very similarly to the Cordon Bleu. It's crispy, crunchy, delicious. Click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to the recipe. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave me a comment and let me know. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.